uh, obsessive and intense. He's a freak of nature, really. These words describe one man, Carolina Hurricanes captain, Rod Brindamore. I believe that he works as hard as any professional athlete in the world. Got a tremendous work ethic. I've talked to other trainers and strength coaches. They've all heard about Rod's legendary workouts, and he really does live up to that reputation. It gives you no excuses. I think if you're feeling like you're maybe a little weak or not in as good a shape, I think you, you, you might tend to see to maybe uh, you know, lean on that as the reason why you're not performing. His extraordinary off-ice workout regimen pays dividends. A few months shy of turning 36, Brindamore was Carolina's most consistently dangerous player against Montreal and leads all NHL forwards in ice time during the playoffs. Rod Brindamore, the bionic player, never gets tired, could probably play an entire game. I remember going in after a game and going in, riding the bike for 10 minutes, coming back, doing interviews, uh, going to the bathroom, and then walking by the shower after, and I still see him in there. Extreme commitment to physical training shocks new teammates but it's nothing new to Brindamore. I think I started lifting real light weights when I was like 12. I remember my dad bought me a set of those old cheap, you know, Wydell weights, the plastic things. And I remember before him going to work, six in the morning, I'd hear his, little, his car head off to the mill and I'd get up and do just a little set, 20 minutes of stuff. And then right after school, another little set of stuff. And I think it just kind of, this got me in the mind frame of uh, getting a little stronger. I've seen guys work out before. I've never seen anybody work out as hard as Rod Brindamore. Even now when I, you know, as I'm doing this interview, he's in there right now, he's doing his bike ride. As his teammates were trying to tell him, well, back off, you know, give yourself a, a chance to rest, but his, his, his body's so finely tuned that uh, he's got uh, a good pulse on what, what, what it needs. What Rod does is, is astounding to me. Uh, you know, it's an amazing thing. I think there's not very many athletes uh, that have that capability to bounce back. To, uh, I think he has something in his body, uh, maybe a, a Lance Armstrong, uh, uh, Gene. Legend has it, while attending Michigan State University as a freshman, Brindamore spent so much time working out that his coaches locked him out of the gym. I knew that story, and, and uh, it's funny, you know, uh, if you hear that, you, you probably hear, well, it just means you, but it's, it's a true story. <laughs> we had heard that, uh, that uh, Ron Mason and the crew had, had asked him to, uh, to introduce himself to his, his roommates and his uh, classmates and get out of the weight room. Well, I don't know that I was locked out of it. I know Newell Brown, I remember, who was my assistant coach there, once told me I need to kind of calm it down a little bit because I was getting a little, maybe a little crazy, uh, going a little overboard. I heard that story a long time ago, even to the point that uh, he figured out a way to take the lock off the door and get in and work out that day anyways.